Hi, Susan. DSP Walker, we met earlier. This is my colleague, DS John Wheeler. Sorry, I've not had my lunch today. I know it's late and you've had a long night. Would you mind if we ask you a few more questions? Of course. Come on in. Do you want tea? Oh, yes, please. I'm gasping. So, Susan, you would have been in the swimming pool when the victim entered the changing room. Did you hear anything untoward? A, a struggle? A scream? No, but I would have been swimming at the time. It's difficult to make anything else out when your ears are full of water. Not to worry. The lifeguard didn't hear anything either. The victim was probably caught unaware. Killed from behind. Stabbed multiple times. Clinically. Clean. That's terrible. Why would somebody do such a thing? Look, I know you've already gone over this, but we just need to clarify a few things from your statement. Um, so, anyway, we now have the CCTV footage from the gym, and it confirms what you originally told us, that the victim entered the changing room just after 7pm, 7.02 to be exact, and then you entered two minutes later, shortly under a minute after that, you can be heard shouting for help. Now, this is crucial, Susan. Can you tell us what happened when you entered that changing room? I walked in through the door and went straight to my locker. That's when I heard the scuffle. The scuffle? Presumably the sound of the killer climbing out through the window. Did you investigate the sound of the scuffle? No, I didn't really think anything of it at the time. I just grabbed a towel and went to the back of the changing rooms, which is where the showers are. And that's when I saw her. Lying there. 